Last night we told you about a man who was shot and killed on the campus of Howard University. 34 year old Rafael Adolfo Gomez was a construction worker and his death is raising concerns about the dangers these workers are now facing on the job. Rafael Sanchez Cruz has some new insight on that. A memorial is growing on the Howard University campus where construction worker Rafael Gomez was killed Thursday morning during what police say was an attempted robbery turned fatal. We do continually get reports of construction construction workers uh, being targeted in this way. The 34 year old's death has prompted the district's largest Latino political engagement group to speak out against what they're saying is a growing issue. They're considered to be easy targets uh, because first they have no protection on the sites that they work on and because there may be language barriers uh, as well as a fear of the police or the government. Jose Barrios, the president of the DC Latino caucus, says they're pressuring to protect these vulnerable workers that are contributing to the constant growth of the district. Whether it's security cameras, whether it's lights, uh, you know, uh, or a security guard presence, there is more that could be done uh, you know, to protect these workers from the harm that they're currently uh, experiencing. As this memorial keeps growing, so does the concern of some of Rafael's co-workers who told me off camera that they're scared of returning to the scene where their friend was killed. Rafael's wife pleading for the community's help to locate the white Nissan SUV with Maryland tags seen fleeing from the scene. If you see something and you're able to provide information, help. Your help will be very useful so that these people are apprehended. In Northwest DC, Rafael Sanchez Cruz, WUSA 9.